this idea of cutting metal in this precise way, and it's beautiful, and you can hear it, and you program it. I absolutely love making stuff and machining stuff. I love learning. I'm, I will always be intellectually curious. I thought, if I'm fascinated by this, if I'm struggling through trying to learn this as a total self-taught person, there's got to be 10 other people that are fascinated by this. And I just thought, I'll share it on YouTube. I think I got lucky because it ended up that there were a ton of people that are interested in this, which when I started to look at it, I thought, oh, okay, that's actually a lot. As we grew, we used one of the major industry packages that was very expensive. We needed to show our customers that we had a robust CAD system. We needed to be able to accept file formats. Worked for our job shop, but I didn't like it because a lot of our audience can afford that level of software. So as soon as I saw what Fusion 360 was and what it could do, I was super intrigued. Now, every day is a new thing. You never know what John's going to say, here, make this. You know, it's, it, everything's different all the time. Fusion was not really that bad to learn. It's very, very intuitive. It's really interesting to see the people that come through the class. We get people from all over the country. You make your part, you watch it go from the computer screen out there to the machine. I absolutely love being able to create something on a computer and then watch it build and grow into a real object that I can hold. Two things I love about Fusion 360. One is the culture that's kind of emerged around it. You can get on the Fusion 360 forums, you can go to these maker spaces, there's meetups, and there's just such an awesome spirit of collaboration and sharing. And the other thing I love is integrated CAD CAM. Whether I'm designing fixtures, whether I'm trying to do simulation to understand will it fit on my table of my machine or where is my vice located. But we use Fusion 360 every day in our shop for, for everything. The motto of NYCCNC is learn, make, and inspire. There's this sort of democratization of manufacturing where now anybody has access to the software. Machines are becoming more affordable, so you can take that idea you have, learn how to do it through YouTube or forums or other ways, and go make your part.